this whole process, I was probably the most insecure I've ever been in my life creatively. So I have never, I've never been someone that has cared about like a lot of people's opinions and stuff. Like I'm usually, I just usually do stuff and get on to the next one, get on to the next one. But this one was really challenging. This project was really challenging for me for some reason. Me and Shab, we work together. It's called teamwork. Whoa, 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 Shab, what are you doing? Watching TV. TV cheating is a big deal for Mark. How do I tell him? Don't say a word. Look, he fell asleep on you. Maybe because the platform was much bigger, but it made me really uh, like doubt myself at times, or it made me think, is this what I want to do? Like it, it was like really deep, like right, fruit throughout the process. Um, but. I was able to get back to my normal self through it. So I started Upshot um, in, wow, nearly like nine years ago. Um, and it wasn't a production company at the beginning. I used to do like t-shirt design, um, t-shirts, um, graphic design, and just a lot of random stuff. Um, as I started to go further in my journey, I started to do adverts for the t-shirts and one of the adverts that I'd done was how not to chat up a girl with a dot comedian that video went viral got about half a million views was on world star hip-hop and that's when I realized how powerful film is and how powerful entertainment is let us have some conversation I've always wanted to say something when I was doing graphics and t-shirts I didn't feel like it was it had enough purpose um, in my life and I feel like entertainment you can do so many like amazing things through that so I think that was those were one of that was a moment uh, for me that I would say led me to the path of directing I think it's so cute. Like you rubbing my feet and like eating with the same hands. Not so oh, representation shit. of where we are. Um, I started, I, okay, I've been in a game for like six years, and it like probably seven years, if that. And I started um, doing theatre, hustling out there, trying to get as much work as I can, just trying to get my name out there just to be respected for what I did. And it got to a point where I know I needed a show or to get an agent. So then I started auditioning for loads of web series, loads of online stuff, and that's when I came across Sebastian from Illegal Activity, and that was my first experience of doing a professional short film. And then from there, the hustle just began, and it's just about getting my name out there. My mission was to get my face out there in as many web series as I could, so I can name right now about a good six web series I've been in that you've probably never seen. <laughs> I might not mention it so you don't see it. But um, yeah, the grind has been real. Like, I worked for free when it came to acting for like three years, no money. I was not getting paid for nothing. No tra maybe transport every now and then, but no money, bruv. Suffering. Real suffering, but I, I asked myself a long time ago, if money was an object in this world, what I'd be doing and acting from day. I knew my mission, I knew what I wanted to get to, so for me, I don't mind if you see me doing weight room, because I know you're going to see me like, right, that's that you that served me a drink, and look where he is now. Does it bother you? If I look at another person and say he's sexy. What kind of game is this, Shav? Mark, I didn't create the question. After I left college, I did performing arts. Um, after that, I went looking for part-time drama school, kind of, um, you know, that had an agency with it. And then um, I came across Identity um, Drama School, and at the time, they, the school was in Hackney. Right. It was my fuel for a long time, just going with it and not really putting so much, like, effort, effort into my craft in terms of going to, like, you know, like after after I got signed to the agency, I I didn't really continue going to the classes. Like I, I was just on this kind of like um, loop of just going with it, going to auditions. But what started happening is that I didn't realise that I needed to still work on my craft in the gaps, and that was really really difficult. Like to be working a survival job and still work on your craft when you're not doing anything creative is really really hard to maintain especially to maintain i think the biggest struggle is self-motivation that like trying to still stay motivated when nothing's happening um, i made it really simple on purpose just to kind of um uh, make it easier to shoot 
um, and uh, it just really took me back to like basics and just making a story funny and just focusing on the couple and their chemistry and um, we use our own kit um, which we've kind of gathered through the years of doing online stuff we've you know invested money in our own kit um, and we use I use that and the sound kit that I have um, and we, I made it by myself. It was just basically me and the, and the two actors um, uh, filming the show, really. And now, you know, it's on BBC Three with like a big, massive team. Um, so it's quite crazy, yeah. So the website has been like a massive um, help in regards to um, fuel and inspiration and um, showing, you know, other people's stories and learning from other people because, you know, what happens is, is that as an entrepreneur, as a business person, as a creative, you tend to be in your own box, yeah? Um, and a lot of the times you don't know that other people are going through what you're going through or how to get past certain hurdles and things like that. And sites like my come up um, really helped in my journey because I'm a person that uh, tends to look at, you know, like I read a lot of books or I look for information um, to solve issues as or problems or, or or think of new ways to do business and stuff and i think the site definitely helped with that along the journey um especially within business yeah so the way i've done it is through the back door like and this is this is by utilizing my own resources um talent around me and just going and doing stuff myself that's what i've done and i've always kind of stood by that because I've never waited for anyone to open any doors. Like I was going, regardless of if it got picked up, just a couple got picked up or anything like that, I would still be making stuff on YouTube. Hey, I'm Sebastian Till. Hello, I'm Frida Till. Michael Salami. Make sure you tune in every Thursday to watch Just A Couple. On BBC Three. At 11 a.m. Peace. Hashtag Team Mark. Hashtag Team Shadow. Hashtag Team Seb. <laughs> Hashtag Team Salami. Don't know. Wait, what? No, no, no. Hashtag just a 